away. I don't know how old the camera is going to be able to hear me. So I'll try to speak real loud. Um, I have garlic here. I grew this myself about two different times. These ones, this is my hard neck garlic. And they're very small, yes. These ones, they are soft neck garlic. And they don't form flowers, right? I always say that. I'm, I've dried them in the sun for three days, and I'm going to cut off the bottom, the roots, and any stems that they have. Uh, yeah. Hi. So, yay. I'm going to cut off. Cut, I'm going to mumble at the camera. Hi, I've got hard neck garlic here. And I'm gonna, I've dried this out in the sun for three days. I've turned it every once in a while. And now I'm gonna cut off the bottoms and the top. Yeah, so let's do that together. That'll be fun. Let's see, I guess, we just, oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yay. So. <laughs> garlic. Yay. I grew this all by myself. Let's, let's do the big one. Let's see here. Uh, oops. Yay. And now cut off the top. Oh, I cut one of the... Oh no, I cut the stem. <laughs> okay, yay. So this is fun. Here, I'll get a close-up now for you guys. Here's, here's garlic. And it's real pretty. Bottom, it's kind of dirty. I hadn't washed them yet. I think that's that's what you should do right after you pull it out and wash it before you dry it. Alright. Yay. Hi again. So I'm gonna cut off my garlic for you. Here's hard neck garlic that I've grown myself. It is kind of tiny. Okay, it's very tiny. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with tiny. It's just small, not as much. So let's cut off this root. And cut off the stem. This one, and yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and cut her. Not that I have very much of it. Oh, this is the soft neck garlic I, I grew. It's rather dirty. <laughs> I think this is the one I planted. That one maybe. Although I could be wrong entirely. Here's the last one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so purple in there. That's a pretty one. Maybe that's mold. <laughs> so wash first before you dry. Wash and then dry. I mean, it's such a simple process. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. I, I really enjoy everybody else's videos. Everyone who posts them. Thanks. Hi again. Woot woot. I've got some nice big peppers. Just that one. And, well, there's lots of them really on that one. Um, well, I've got this one, of course. And... This finally got some peppers. Let's see. Here's one right here. Yep, it's pepper. It's a couple of them. 
Mm. Let's go over here. Oh, you have to see all my red tomatoes. But, uh, so this guy, he's doing great. And they're getting bigger. I think they're real neat. <laughs> this pepper is starting to get some little flower buds going on. So is that one over there. And the cherry tomato. Oh, this one. This cherry tomato. Look at all his red little tomatoes in there. Oh, and I think these ones, I think this one's ripe. I'm really sure it feels very smooshy. So I wonder if it'll... Um, I figure if it's ripe, it would come off by now with the wiggling. Oh, but this one. Let's go around and pick him. I'm sure he's ripe. Her, it. Let's see. Hmm. It's not as soft as the other one. Huh. I'll let him ripen up. Oh, here's that compact tomato flower. It's got a pretty zipper scar. It's got some flowers, so there'll be more. Green ones over there. Oh, and the cucumbers. Here's my cucumbers. Oh, it's not supposed to be like that. Oh, he crapped onto it. <laughs> well, so, got more flower blooms. I haven't found any actual pickles or cucumbers growing yet. I think that one isn't growing. It's been just kind of chilling there for a while. Yeah. Oh, and then I found, uh, I just found some seedlings growing inside my starter box that I moved outside. So, I put them in the ground. Got some <laughs> pistachio shells for mulch. Him, and then the other one's not doing so well. It's not as big. But I guess they could be cucumbers, or zucchini, maybe even squash. I don't, I guess it's probably a little too late. But hopefully, they'll be fine. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope your you get um. <laughs> I hope your all your gardens grow great too. <laughs> woot woot woot.